welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, special welcome to you. Today, I'm bringing to you a shoe unboxing for the 25th anniversary edition of Allen Iverson's shoes. Um, these are the Answer DMXs. I believe these were his first shoe. They could be his second. I might be wrong about that. But anyway, this is one of the most gorgeous shoes I've seen in a long, long, long time. It is absolutely impeccable in all of the decoration, the work that went into this shoe. It is just absolutely stunning. So let's get into this a little bit. All right, so this is what the front of the box looks like, just in case you were wondering. And then on the side of the box, it says the Answer DMX Unisex 7.5 USA Footwear White Flash Red and Sea Black. So I'm not sure. The Sea Black is probably like a carbon type of thing because if you look at the black, it has that carbon look to it. Um, what is that called? It's carbon something. I don't know. Anyway, let's start with the right side of the shoe. This is the right shoe. This is the right side of it. You have this big old gold I3 right here towards the back. And then at the top, you have this like white pebbled leather. Then you have some patent leather that's red in here. You have some more of this pebbled leather and then you have like this carbonated black and gold um, stuff right here. There is a line and I don't think it's gonna come up on the video, but there's a reflector line right here. It does reflect holographically if you have the shoe in front of you, but I don't think it's gonna pick up on camera at all. I don't know. Um, so anyway, you get down to the bottom of the shoe. Let me make sure I don't have makeup on my hand because I don't want that on my shoes. Um, and you have starting with the white rubber shoe, then you have these two gold pieces, and then you have this red, almost like a jelly type of rubber because it's partially see-through. And it has little tiny red sparkles in it which makes me even happier because I love sparkly stuff. Um, then you flip the shoe around to the front. I don't know if this is the way I usually do it or if I go to the back first, but when you flip it around to the front and it hasn't been tried on yet, I'm pretty sure they're gonna fit. My size hasn't sold out yet because I have little feet, thank goodness. My fiance's did sell out and he can't get another pair but it is what it is so um you have this white pebble leather that comes down like in front of the tongue of the shoe that has a Reebok symbol that when it's pulled together it actually looks like a black patent leather with red and gold Reebok symbol on it then on the tongue if you pull that to the side a little bit, it says Iverson going down the tongue. The tongue is red um, patent leather also. And then it says Reebok at the top on some white pebbled leather. Now, when you go down to the, I can't ever remember this word. It's either foot box or toe box right here. Um, you do have the red um, that goes in between the red patent leather and you do have a couple breaks from the white pebbled leather to the red, to the white, to the red, back to the white. And the white pebbled leather really doesn't look as pebbled on the front as it does the rest of the shoe. Now, when you turn it to the left side, it looks exactly the same as the right side, except for the Reebok symbol and the I3 aren't there. Um, it has, the rest of the features like the other side did except that this white leather has a line right here they have to put it somewhere so i guess in these shoes it was there um 
then when you take it around to the back you see more of the black up top this is actually fabric this is not leather um, the rest of the shoe is pretty much leather except for the rubber you know sole of course but you have this black and brown let me show you guys as close as I can so you can see it. It's like a black netting almost that's really thin that has brown underneath. Then you go to that white pebbled leather. Then you have the red patent, which you can see perfectly fine in this light. And then you go to this gold and black, like gorgeous little piece here. You go to the bottom and it says Reebok right here. I couldn't read it in the um, thing. And then you have a Reebok symbol right here. And then you go back down to that red jelly um, rubber, if you want to call it that. I don't know what else to call it. I'm used to nail polish and makeup terms and stuff like that. So then whenever you flip the shoe over, again, it is gorgeous. Um, you do have it's missing a couple things that the regular shoes have. I'm not sure if it's on just the answers or question. No, it's on both. The non-marking outer sole is not written on here anywhere, but I don't think, let me double check before I say that. Um, no, you just have the red with the gold. And in the middle of the shoe, you have this hard plastic, like it's really hard. Um, and there's an I3 in the bottom of the shoe. Um, whenever you open the shoe up and look on the inside, it is cushiony as heck, just like the rest of his shoes are. They feel like clouds. And there is a Reebok symbol at the bottom of the shoe on the um, foot pad. So this is one shoe. I'm gonna get the other one out and show you both at one time. And then I'm gonna show you mine against my fiance's. Um, so you can see the difference in sizes. So here is what two size seven shoes look like. So basically, you know, they're pretty small, honestly, but these are gorgeous shoes. And honestly, I'm really surprised they haven't sold out yet, but they are starting to sell out certain, um, certain sizes. So here, this is a little odd. I did this in a couple videos where I got the same shoes as my fiance. Um, we don't wear the same shoes at the same time or anything like that. I'm not crazy like that. Neither is he. But this is a seven and a half back to back compared to a 12. And these are both the left shoe. Um, just wanted to make sure I had the proper shoe. Yeah, that, they're both the left. Um, if there is anything you guys want to know about these shoes that I didn't say yet, or you have any questions in general about Iverson, his shoes, I'm actually looking to do an Iverson collection video pretty soon. Um, I have to figure out how I'm going to do it, but I've gotten to the point where I have enough that I could either do a ranking style video of my favorites all the way to my least favorite, which is gonna be a very, very hard thing to do. Or I could just show you my collection, which is probably gonna be a heck of a lot easier because um, you guys know that shoes are one of my passions, especially Reebok, Ellen Iverson shoes. They are my thing. Um, and my fiance is the one that got me into them, but this has become part of my life now. And I have made it part of my channel every time I get new shoes or even when my fiance gets new shoes, I will try to do a shoe unboxing for you guys so that you can check out what's new on the market and um, see them up close and a little bit more personal because you usually can't find Iversons in stores. It's not the easiest thing to do, honestly. But anyway, I'm going to get going. I live and appreciate each and every one of you. 
don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It only takes a second. Um, don't forget to subscribe because, you know, I'm here. It's free. It's all good. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. Again, I appreciate you. Um, wherever you are, whatever time of day it is, I hope you're having a great one. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for being here.